Hello and welcome everyone back to another episode of the Geek Mac show and if you did enjoy this show please make sure to subscribe to this channel it is free for you to join and in today's video we are going to be doing a video review of something called the NAF NAF NOF whatever it is called NOF hat and I got two of those actually here to show you so one of them is the green one and when you do get one this is how it's going to look like Really, it's going to be all inside this very nice looking bag. We'll open this up. And here it is. This is actually this special sales edition. Why is this the sale edition? Well, it is specially made. It looks like it was actually uh, used and washed a few times. And also, think about it this way. If you are a seller, well, your head is not going to look perfect. So this gives it an aged look and it's actually textured as well. I like the texture too. So this is one of the few hats that they make that is 100% cotton. And I still have the tags for it. That's why I actually just bought this. So this is just brand new that I just got for myself. And I liked it so much that I had to get two of those. One in black, one in camel green. No, green, not camel. It is green. Yes, I'm sure it is green. So, with that said, this thing enough, what you can do here is you can switch it around and put it backwards on, but now you're going to have this around, so it's not really switchable. You can try if you want to, but let's go ahead and take a look how this looks on me. It's the green version. Ooh. One size fits most, I would say. It's supposed to be one size fits all, but this is great. And you know why something like this is so great? You can wear this in most white kind of variety of weather. So if it is a little bit hot outside, you can still wear this. It's kind of cool. It's not that hot. So let's say 60 degrees and stuff. Yeah, you can still put this on. If you're biking, this is going to protect you from all the wind that is coming across or motorcycle, whatever you're doing. But of course, you do need a helmet. So this is going to be something that you can put on. Plus a helmet on as a safety right on you should always be safe and in case you want to put this like that yeah you can you can't see anything but that's kind of cool too but another thing is the great thing about this let's say you're going on an airplane and you want to you know chill out a bit and you have some headphones or something else on and you want to sleep but still keep warm well it doesn't keep you too warm so that's the great thing about this so this is the green version in case you want to see how it actually looks like and if they still have it for sale that they're going to snatch up those versions very fast this is the pigment fisherman beanie beanies are my favorite and my favorite kind is actually the black one too so i think the black one looks much more better for me right I think I'm going to actually create a Udemy class just wearing this, this thing on because it looks so cool. So yeah, if you have a ha bad hair do, like I myself have right now, bad hair do, you can put something on like this and nobody is going to know what you have right over there. If you're bored and stuff, that's even better. I mean, nobody's going to know that you're bored. Oh yeah. So with that said and done, it's a great hat for you to get. It is very comfortable. It feels natural. It feels great. It's not too tight. One size fits all. And I have a little bit of a large head compared to most people. Maybe some people have small heads. But yeah, this is going to fit most people. And it doesn't even feel too tight. It feels really bendy and it feels good and it looks good. So in case you wanted to see how this looks like from the sides, this is the black version of the fisherman hat. Easily to take off. And here is the greenish version. I don't know. I, I want you guys to, you know, tell me right down in the comments below. Which one looks better on me? The green one or the black one? And should I keep both of them for myself? Or should I sell one of them on eBay? So with that said and done, if you are interested in getting one, there's going to be a link right down below. And of course, please support my channel by subscribing to this channel and see you in another video of the Geek Tech Show. I think I hit something.
see you on the next video thank you so much for watching and have a great day